Yes. So if you have <laughs> if if you have thoughts of hurting others, hurting people at a at a anybody at a business or a school or a church or at your house or yourself, rethink it. Give it ten days. You know, give it a day. Then make we'll it, give day it ten five, days. Make five. Five, yeah, make five. You, make five ten. You know, like give yourself goals. Yeah. Reach out to like, someone for help. We don't. Jason we, Russell. Jason Russell gave it yeah. ten days, and he was in the middle of San Diego screaming at people drinking a gallon of milk. <laughs> Yeah, like John F. Kennedy Jr. was also narrowly edged out of the Carnage playoffs in the earlier rounds with a disappointing score of three corpses. <laughs> he also suffered a water hazard penalty on his final round of play. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. oh Sorry. man. <laughs> uh, Kennedy, it should be noted, was participating in the pro am portion of the event, given his celebrity showbiz status. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of birthdays you got, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys know uh, Andy Circus? No. I got to play Gollum. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's born today. Happy birthday, Gollum. Uh, uh, Carmen Electra is born today. Happy mm. birthday, Carmen Electra. <laughs> and what does she look like? <laughs> what what happened to her? See. I remember when she you. had that uh she had that cartoon on um oh, Spike T V. Yeah. Electra or Yeah, yeah, like, it was like a cartoon. Yeah, it was yeah. like Fem Fem Electra oh. <laughs> Just something stupid. Oh, I'll find it. Uh they gotta play Martin uh the dad in Back to the Future. The nerdy dad. Yeah. Oh yeah, the the guy that always Chris, plays a creepy uh, bad. Uh, Crispin Glover. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. born today. Uh, what about Luke Keekley? If you watch football, happy birthday, Luke. Sad that you left, Luke. The second famous Lawrence brother, Joey, was born today. The one that has fake hair. Mm. The one that has <laughs> fake hair. Have you seen his hairline? It's fake. No. Uh, Let's see, you got a. Uh, I was looking at a different. The old lady one. from the American Horror Story show is born today. Oh. And then Hitler. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Happy birthday, everybody! No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you can't say. Are you we'll, trying to we'll be all inclusive? A... You got, trying to be inclusive? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, know. I forgot. I forgot. I got to add in the other demographic. Can we go from sweethearts to dictator to genocidist to George Takei? There we go. We got every spectrum of the, the rainbow covered. I say that. <laughs> George Happy Takei. 48th birthday, Carmen Electra. R.I.P. to that guy, right? Isn't George Takei dead? R.I.P. Hitler. He's dead, right? <laughs> Is Hitler dead? <laughs> we said R.I.P. to who? Who do you say R.I.P. Well, to? George Takei? I mean, He's either he's, still alive, right? he's either dead. He's, still alive. he's either dead or he's in what South America? Oh, and uh, Judge John Paul Stevens dead in South America. Yeah. No. He's in Arge Argentina. That's where Hitler's at. I think George Takei's dead. <laughs> no, they said he's born. He's still alive. Oh. oh, Napoleon Part Three was born today. Also. Oh, okay. I'm I guess he's I still alive. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Okay. Well, can, this has been fun. Yeah, you can't say that the world wouldn't end up the way it is today if we didn't have Hitler and some of those other people. Like, not saying that they're good, because I'm not. You tread lightly here, Thomas. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying the world ended up a certain way because of these people. If like, you, <clears throat> there's that age old question: If you could go back and kill baby Hitler, would you do it? Because we might not have cell phones. We might not have been to space. Columbine High School is in immediate need for another black person to attend our school. Due to a recent unfortunate incident, our student of color is no longer with us. If you have a black teenager that would like to attend <laughs> Columbine High School, please mail a resume to CHS Res Human Resources, Columbine High School, Little in Colorado, 21487. Mm. Translation, yo, 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 Columbine High School be needing a brother to chill at our crib. The last home we got whacked. If you need fly sister that be hip to white boy talk, contact the man at CHS Human Resources, Columbine High School, Little in Colorado, 21487. Would you guys go back and kill baby Hitler? <laughs> nah. No? No, what what's about, done is done. What about yeah. Dylan and uh, Dylan and the Columbine shooters? Would you kill baby versions of them to prevent I mean, I mean, what if you do that? And something bigger is, happens. 
because yeah. we if didn't notice If you have the Dominic. ability, if you have the ability to go back in time, when you just mimic what he did, to be just, an idolized, I just do what he did to become a leader, but don't do it. Be a bad person about it. Oh, you're talking about Hitler. Oh. Footsteps. Like you just you just take his spot without without the war everybody. without the war yeah 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 because you could have do you think if you if he would have teamed up with the United States to be to become a partnered uh, superpower yeah I mean There's if you think about it about yeah that, if you yeah. think about it um, before you know he started euthanizing people in mental hospitals and stuff like that some of his political stuff was actually decent because he turned Germany around from. Like a depression to an economic boom. I think he did like that by uh, stopping that, payments from World War One. Yeah, that pa- that power got to his head. <laughs> it's like, all right, boys, lost, so here's there's our, a lot of similarities. Between we're going to stop now. paying our debt. <laughs> we're going to build tanks, and we're going to kill the take Jews. Take over Poland because uh, they don't need to be there. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like we just go to Cuba and take over Cuba. We should didn't have we, already done that. Didn't we do that already? Isn't it basically Which, a territory of ours? No. No, JFK pussied out. Wait, well, who am I thinking of? Uh, Guatemala? Philip. I'm talking about Puerto Rico? Maybe I'm thinking of Puerto Rico. The well, Bay of the, to be us. Who's the we Bay? Where, gave what, it up. what was the Bay of Pigs about? That was Cuba. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was Cuba. That was us being like, no, nah, you're good. If we would yeah. just follow through with it and gave air support, we would have took over Cuba. Yeah, we'd be good with them now. We but did now, the same thing to the Kurds and fucking when uh, Iran was fighting Iraq back in the 80s. So now we just restrict Cuba with their import goods. So that's why they drive around old cars and barely have an economy. Yeah. Well, at least they have uh, like 1940. At least they have universal health care. Is it any good? I have no idea. But Probably I always not. see people flaunting that as a thing. And it makes they me got hella pineapples. That's what they'll always flaunt. Did you see that bad? Did you see that really bad shooting today in in fucking Canada? Yeah, biggest oh, yeah. in their history or something like that. Yep. Yeah, dude dressed up as a Canadian police and had a police cruiser that he made. Oh, and went what? around just shooting. He was he drove around shooting people in Nova Scotia and set cars on fire and stuff for like hours. He killed yep. like fourteen. He killed some police officers and stuff too. Yeah, he killed one police officer. He, he was really, he was really like thoughtful and tactical about everything. He was, uh, like you said, he, wa- he caught some shit on fire, caught houses on fire, too. I wonder after after he shot somebody, he like shot him and walked him. Was like, I'm sorry, okay. Now, did, did, he, he, did he die or give himself <laughs> up? Uh, he <laughs> they got, got him. He got killed. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. They kill. Uh, he got yeah. he got shot down. Excuse me, hey, there. Look right me. here into the into this barrel there. Hey, sorry <laughs> about gonna, that. Now I'm going to move on. Now your life, now Lee. <laughs> I'm going to cut your house on fire now. So sorry, hey. And the police show you'll up. Be, Could you stop that, Nelly? Oh, sorry be, there. Sorry there, bud. <laughs> sorry there. Sorry there, bud. I got to kill you, but I'm really sorry there, bud. <laughs> hey, they have yeah. legal marijuana in Canada, though. That's why he did well, it, dude. He whole, smoked. He smoked weed for the first time and went crazy. The whole territory of Canada is legal? Yeah. Yeah, they have legal marijuana. Oh, wow, bud. I need to move there, eh? Yeah. Well, so, Alex, <laughs> you got any more um, Columbine any more facts or birthdays? Or anything. The Church Coat Mafia aren't dropouts. They got an A-plus in marksmanship. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they say that they say they say those guys um, were actually pretty popular in the school. That they weren't losers like were portrayed. Really? Yeah, they said that they they weren't they weren't they weren't losers. They weren't outcasts. They got along with everybody. Um, it was it was odd. Uh, they didn't actually target like jocks and popular people when they went in. Um, well, they did, but they targeted everybody. And they targeted people mostly of faith, um, but they, the from from the research I've heard in the past, they weren't they weren't outcasts. They got along with people. It was it was an odd character for them. I think that whole thing of them being like outcasts was 
a weird thing the media tried to do at first and still and was successful with as far as portraying them as something that they weren't really with their classmates. Oh, yeah. That's just the media thing, though. Yeah, the mm-hmm. media really didn't – Alex, correct me if I'm wrong, but the media really, like, did a number on music, the music industry and, like – uh, emo kids and you know mm-hmm. just really really dark looking kids uh um really sad kids uh i'm i don't know what word i'm looking for like but it they brought up the uh satanic panic shit yeah man. yeah like the same kids that um probably gosh. the Marilyn manson rob zombie fans of the mid 90s yeah and the corn stuff like it all influenced um this behavior yeah it's really typical with um the same thing happened with the uh, the three kids that got falsely accused of of uh, killing the, Tennessee, um, the kids in Memphis, West Memphis three. Yeah, that same thing happened yeah. with them. They had nothing to do with it, and they were guilted into, you know, uh, yeah, falsely admitting themselves to the crimes. Yeah, oh. yeah, and then the guy that actually did it was supposedly the stepfather of one of the kids that got killed. He, they cut his penis off, mutilated him, and then yeah. sunk his body in a in a shallow bo- yeah. thing of water and then the kids ended up taking the fall. How did, how long did they go to how long did they go to jail? I think, I think they're, they're still, still in, jail. in jail. I think some of them are still in jail. The three guys are out. Are they? Yeah, they they were released. Okay. Maybe um, uh, if all three of them, I'm pretty sure all three of them are out. I I might be wrong, but I'm about the that three number, but I'm pretty sure they were all Actually proven innocent and um, released from released from jail, um, but that's a clear indication. Even if one was released from jail or two was released from jail, it's a clear indication that it doesn't take much to um, group. Yeah, they got uh, out in a uh, twenty ten. All three of them. Yeah, they were. Um, the Arkansas Supreme Court, after some DNA evidence and some misconduct by the jury. They entered plea bargains, and the judge let them off after time served. Hmm. They ended up serving 18 years and 78 days in prison for a crime they didn't do. Jesus. So then you got that. That's that mob mentality, though. Like, it doesn't take much for someone to say they did it. Like, that's that shit that happened in medieval times where you'd point out a witch, and, you know, like, 10 people would also say she's a witch because this one guy did it. You know, this one guy said she's a witch, and... I think that mob mentality is like super, super fucking dangerous, man, because mm-hmm. it doesn't take much to become an outcast. It, it's it's so easy, you know, at, in, in a work environment, in a in a religious environment and in public, it doesn't take much to become outcast. And that's exactly what happened um, with mm-hmm. those three. It's not really what happened with the uh, Dylan and uh, whatever his other Ms. fucking name was. Mr. Bojangles. One of them was a black guy that was walking through the Bojangles drive through. Oh, my God. There's that fucking mob mentality I was talking Mr. about. I was about to say Mr. Bojangles. He just God. happened to be walking. In the, that I, poor, I get, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about this later. That poor black this, man. Right. This seems like a good continue story. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for tuning in, and we hope that you enjoyed the episode and that you you know partook in some of the finer delicacies in life on this fine 420 day. Um <laughs> So, um, enjoy the rest of your night. Um, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, fall asleep to some of that fine nug. Um, uh, hopefully you'll tune back in on the next episode. This is episode nine. Yeah. Episode nine. So we are, we're trying to just keep, keep consistent and churn out some, some stuff for you guys. Have, I, I feel like we're all having a good time doing this. So, uh, it's, it's fun for us and hopefully you guys find it fun for yourself to listen. So, um, is I, my closing thoughts on this episode. So you guys prepare your closing thoughts. So my closing thoughts on this is going to be um, f- fuck anybody that decides to go into a school and shoot up a school or a church. But Or just anywhere. I am on the fence about <laughs> fighting violence with violence. So if if you are a terroristic group or you, you do plan to do harm, I hope that harm comes to you before you plan to do harm. That said, if you have harmful tendencies and harmful thoughts, then reach out to people that can help you or us. Uh, write us an email. Tell us about your deep, dark desires, and we'll 
we'll we'll try to we'll try to cool you off, I, or at least I will. Maybe maybe we, Alex isn't the best person for for getting deep and dark about stuff, but uh, I'll I'll sure no, give I it am. a try. Well, you just right, gonna say 